Frankie, we're out in the woods again. Uh-huh. Wilderness all around us. The sounds of nature. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, April 1st. Yes. And we're freezing. Yes. It's, um, yeah, here in the upper Midwest, it, it, it just has not shown any signs of warming up no it's it's terrible <laughs> i really want spring to get here we're really tired do. of it mm -hmm. we're tired of it but we're gonna tough it out you yes. know because we want to be outside and uh -huh. yeah, yeah. we enjoy being outside right and we will suffer for you guys i don't think they care though no they really don't no, probably not either way they, yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right medford collection you saw in the title yeah start off with the first one frankie okay yeah we got one mm-hmm and we got two. Okay. And we got three. Okay. Keep them coming. Oh, and then that's it. Oh, we, we only have three. That we sucks. got three. <laughs> well, we should say we we had we only had one for a long time. We did have this one. one? Yes. Oh yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We only had one for a long time, and then up until about two weeks ago, we got we got two more, like just back to back. We did, yes. Yeah. yeah. And, but that being said, also we should have two more. We should have five total. We should have five. We'll yes. talk about that in a, in a minute. Mm -hmm. There are two knives that we regret buying from the same show. It was we no regret not buying. Not buying. <laughs> yeah. um, from the November show, yes. the gun and knife show, our local mm -hmm. one. Yeah. 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 Two Medford knives that mm -hmm. we didn't get. Anyway. Uh, you always remember the knives that you didn't get. Yes. Oh, anyway. And we got this knife about a year ago mm -hmm. um this was a gift this was my birthday gift you guys it was a really nice present from 2017 thank you so mm -hmm. much nick mm -hmm. um this knife kind of made it around a little bit if you watch the youtube stories on it and guess yes. what it stopped here it did stop here i'm never getting rid of it you should i open it saw our original video yeah go ahead i love this knife and it's awesome he's kind of chunky oh yeah and that's why you love him mm -hmm. this is the medford the original Frankie. Marauder. Marauder. Named after the World War II bomber. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. Check this out. Check out this chunk of steel. <laughs> no, it's so cool. Listen to this. Listen to this. That lockup. Yeah. Oh my god. Frankie, this is a man's knife. It is a man's <laughs> knife. <laughs> Look at the profile though. I love that thing. It does have a good profile. This is such a cool profile. Wouldn't it be cool if they made this in like smaller versions too? I would love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this knife... Um, like I say, I had it for about a year now. I think we had mm -hmm. access to it for, for longer than that before that, but yeah, uh, yeah mm -hmm. I really loved it. I love the design. Frankie, how's it look in your hand? It probably looks kind of big in my hand. A little bit, yeah. 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 So cool. But yeah, this was our first and only for a while, mm -hmm. okay? And then what happens is you, you, you just, they get on your radar the knives that is the MKTs they get on your radar and then Frankie we're at the shows and stuff and then what happens mm -hmm. then I wanted one well then we started looking at them yeah and it's yeah. just like well what did you see you saw the micro praetorian yeah and then I should have gotten it that's one we should have gotten the yes. other one that I should have got from Brad our mm -hmm. friend Brad he's a dealer revolver tactical was it, the, whenever you say dealer it makes it sound like he's like our drug dealer which he, I mean technically he kind of is yeah you just made your own point I yeah mean, like, I mean he's yeah touche yeah okay, okay. um Anyways. Yeah, but he had the production Praetorians. I mm -hmm. absolutely regret not buying one of those. That's true. Black yeah. or green, either one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. Didn't they come in a tan too? Maybe. He only had the two. Uh, tan, green, and black, I think. He had the two. But yeah. anyway, fast forward to, well, it was about three weeks ago. Yeah. Two or three weeks ago, we had our local gun and knife show, and we were able to score this one. I had to get a little baby. Yep. We had to score this one, all right? for a, a good price it was used uh -huh. and we, we did a little bit of trading and here we are this is the medford panzer which is named after, after a tank world war ii right world war ii the german tank and it, during that so time so he has a german accent i don't know i mean she does. she it she. would be a she yeah it's chody um, foster chody <laughs> you gotta check our instagram for that <laughs> no the, the panzer that would have been the tank to have back in those uh -huh. days I guess uh, Greg probably gets a lot of his military names and stuff like that. Greg was, uh, or is. A Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Yeah, how do you say that? Is he a retired Marine? Is he former Marine? Mm -hmm. It's not. Ask your brother. Yeah, see, half my family are Marines. I was the only one who, like, didn't join. Mm -hmm. uh, You're oddly. the outcast. Real quick, though. Yeah. So, Greg Medford, he was in the original Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 1991. Okay. 
Frankie, I was 11 years old and I was watching CNN back then and <laughs> I was absolutely glued to the TV. You were dedicated. I, I was watching that coverage 24 hours a day and that's back when they were just really kind of starting to do the 24 hour news thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just kind of interesting to me. It's like yeah. he was over there fighting in that and I was just like a kid watching it on TV, but the guy behind these knives, yeah. That's know, crazy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This is the, well, okay. So our understanding, we're not the, the experts on Medford knives yet, but this is the the clip version, obviously. They originally came without a clip, all right? And Frankie, we watched a, a video where Greg was talking about these. He yeah, originally yeah. intended these knives clipless and you just- Drop them in your pocket. Just loosely in your pocket, uh -huh. right? Yeah, but check this out. Listen to it. Listen to that lock up on that. So this considers the blade under three inches, so I can carry this at work. Isn't this funny, guys? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's following the rules of her it's job. It's completely but under the rules. I don't think, like, when they wrote those rules, they would think that somebody <laughs> would bring a knife like this. Because, I mean, seriously. But I was having it with this, uh, so I was... What's your EDC right now? What Do you have an EDC other than yes, what you bring? Do. Yeah. Um, he's another little chode. <laughs> We're calling this. Frankie's building up a, a collection of chodes. I'm carrying a bunch of chodes. I want to. I just want to show the chode collection. I just want to show the size comparison. There's a spider co techno. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, it's not. It's but not it's huge, kind of huge. comparable. It's taller though, isn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. So I'm I'm collecting some chodes. So <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, yeah. but I was using this for a salad uh -huh. and it worked so good to cut up the pieces well, of salad. This knife here, every time I do use it, it's the tanto that I end mm -hmm. up using the yeah, most. Yeah, it worked so good to chop. It's awesome. Yes. It's absolutely a knife that, let me see, I would throw in my pocket as mm -hmm. originally intended. But look at the clip on this one. Yeah. I've also uh, clipped it a little bit into my pocket. That works very well as well. There are still some available too on Blade HQ. So there's some specialty ones, but they can be kind of expensive. Basic ones are like 450. They go up to up to a thousand. Which is Why crazy. are they expensive? We should talk about that real quick. Yes. So yeah, this is an American company uh -huh. um, out of Arizona. They they got a pretty good workforce there. They go to great uh -huh. lengths to to show us not only just tell us that they're made in the USA, but yes. show us that they are made in mm -hmm. the USA. Lots Frankie, of handwork. Th this is this is a D2 steel. It's mm -hmm. not China D2. Not China D2. <laughs> no. No. Um, they show us and, and and they talk about how they're not they're not mid tech. They are hand tech. Hand tech, which we really like. Custom hands on. Hands on. Yeah. Hands on. Small batches of production knives. Right. To us, they appear. They're closer to. Um, customs than they are uh -huh. production. It's really cool to see a company that is that you know embraces that they're full USA made and, and it's uh -huh. all in house and everything like that. It just it, you've watched our channel for a little bit. It bothers us sometimes when we see the companies that that say the knife is made in the USA and it's actually not. And it's just I don't know. Uh -huh. What's what's this knife doing here, Ricky? Uh -huh. That's a it's that's a browse. Weird timing. That is weird timing. Uh -huh. But yeah, pretty cool about uh, Medford's that way. Yeah, all American. Yep. But they are, you know, you got to pay for it. It's it's a little more expensive. Yeah. And uh, guess what? But the quality is there for sure. We're willing to pay for it. This is a basic model, and like you were saying, they go up in price from there. Mm -hmm. There can be a huge gap between a base model and a a model yeah. that has like. Well, remember the one that you had of Brad's, the Praetorian. Uh, his is twelve hundred bucks. That's the one that, that our our friend Brad he EDCs every day. Uh, twelve hundred bucks, and yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, that one was that crazy. He, yep. I've never seen him carry a different knife. Mm -hmm. He yeah. always has that one on him. Yep. But let's get into the latest, latest and greatest. Would you call it the greatest? Well, maybe it's maybe. a twenty eighteen model. Yeah. Do 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 do. Weird. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's the talk case, about the cases. The cases real quick got too. personality. Frankie, these cases are waterproof. Are they? We haven't tested them. Maybe we should test them in the shower. We'll test them in the shower later. Yeah, okay. let's do it. Wait for that coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Waterproof cases, yeah. Um, this is brand new for 2018. You may have seen these knives unveiled at SHOT Show coverage. Do, do, 2018. Do. Here it is. This is, well, this is one of them. This is the Marauder Slim Midi. Ooh. Slim Midi Marauder is technically yes. the name, okay? Frankie, Midi, I guess, is a dress. 
It's a dress that I don't wear, which is well, weird. Okay, but I wear so many dresses, but this is a style that I don't wear. It's a wear. slim midi. You need a slim midi with I your slim midi. I guess I need midi. to. Yeah. All right, check this out, though. This was the knife that we saw. It was the same blue and everything. As it turns out, we... This is the exact knife. We managed to score the SHOT Show slim midi. Now, check it this out. It was very used and abused. Now, here's how you... No, I'm not even going to do it that way. Okay. You can middle flick these. It's not how you're intended to open them, but you can do it. Whoa. Nice, huh? Smooth. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Now that song's in my head. All right, open <laughs> you should the. Um, sing. I hear open the Marauder. People love our singing. Oh, they do. We're gonna we're gonna start a new channel for, just for that. Mm -hmm. Check this out, though. The reason it's called the Slim. <laughs> 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 Look because at this. this Marauder went on the Slim Fast Atkins miracle miracle low carb high keto diet. Yes. All kinds of diets rolled into one. Well, it was amazing. You know what else is amazing? We found our scale. Guys, we found our scale. I don't know where we found Ellie it. Ellie found it for us. She found it in, Be in in Felix's treasure trove of... He hides stuff, yeah. <laughs> stuff. 4.25 ounces. It's coming in about what you'd expect. Now let's show the... Um, the original... Don't cut me with that knife, Frankie. Okay. And you could easily. Okay. This knife... Wait, we have to see how Go much ahead. is... Yeah. His fat papa weighs. Almost, just under 11 <laughs> ounces, yeah. <laughs> this knife here, we'll talk about the slim though. It is less than half inch. Frankie, it's, it's kind of on the thin side. What is it? It's uh, 0 0.41. 0 0.41 thick on the handle side. So slim carries very well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, tip That's up. so much thinner. Right hand only. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, this is the uh, the fuller here that it's it's kind of intended to open that way. Listen to that lock up. Uh, Listen yeah. to that lock up. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Uh, frame lock, obviously. I like the the clip too. It's just oh, very it, minimal. It, it's so well, and clean. It, just, it fits the contour of the knife perfectly, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah, it's very clean. I love the color of it. Everything now, about it is just cool. This is a base model. These are going for about $500, you guys. Oh. And they're selling out quick on Blade mm -hmm. HQ, last I checked. But they go up in price from there. Uh, this, I would seen. feel like this is not a base model. It just looks like it should be Well, that's fancier. that's how it is with, with the Medford still. Mm -hmm. like, I love the pivot, too. The four-point pivot. Kind of that proprietary deal. Very cool looking. Yeah, I, I really do appreciate like it. I do. I do. I love the finger troil on that. So I had this knife for about, I don't know. Yeah, we got it at a good deal. Could not pass it up. Um, I had it for, I don't know, a few days. And... Let me, uh, let me do this again. It's still kind of breaking in. So this is the actual oh. SHOT Show one? This is the actual SHOT Show knife. All right, had it for just a little bit before I couldn't help getting it on the KME. There you can see my nice mirror edge. It's kind of a steep grind if you notice that. So there's the bevel itself is not real fat. Um, that's gonna make for a more durable edge, but it's gonna sacrifice, I mean, just slightly, but it just sacrifices uh, cutting performance a little bit. But uh, yeah, kind of a steep grind on that one but polish it up to something fierce. Frankie, do we have any? Well, we are in the park. We're so in the park, so obviously we have we phone have books. We have phone book paper. We, have, we bring our phone book, you know, because who doesn't, All right? Yeah, I'll just show you how sharp it is. It came sharp, but it was used. I just felt like, Frankie, we, we had, I don't know. We had to have her tested. Yes, we did, because we heard that this knife got around. What we were told by the good people at Medford is that this knife was finger banged. I think there's going to be an edit in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, very sharp, huh? Yes. It's very, very sharp. Yeah, this knife is awesome. I kind of want to do an edge on this one, too. Yeah, this he could use a little... I think could... that's a she, also. Yes. I think that's a she. <laughs> there's no um, pocket picker on that one. No, no. <laughs> a different video. <laughs> yeah, that's a he. That's a he. Are you sure there's no pecker on this one, either? <laughs> no, we're talking about peckers. Yeah. That's our meager... Medford knife collection <laughs> and yeah if gonna... anybody wants to do donate a micro praetorian or a production praetorian let us know yeah you can let us know or just send it directly to our PO box we're, mm -hmm. we're willing to accept them we will we can take them on mm -hmm. we are accept, accepting donations and she's clean so she can hang out with any of them she's free to mitigate <laughs> mitigate what's the word yeah she's mingle, mingle. I think is what I was looking for she's yeah. Single and ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> she is sleek though. Look at that knife. I Look love that it. profile. Love it. She's yeah. sexy. Yeah. This these are both worthy of carrying. <laughs> this one gets carried mm, once in a blue moon, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, more to come for sure. 
<laughs> Frankie, what else? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> awesome knives. Mm-hmm. All right, Frankie, sun's coming out? Yeah. What's with that? I don't know. All right, I think we're going to go for a walk. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye. Ooh, nice and clean, huh? Yeah, this had a relatively steep edge. Here, hold this. <laughs> no, now I gotta hold this because we're in the park. Look. Oh, yeah. You can do surgery with that knife. There you go, Dr. Frunky. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, Dr. Frunky, yeah. <laughs> he is the surgeon. I know. Yeah.